Hello again everyone, Tanner Flowers here with Tennessee Technicians and we just finished up yet another crawl space encapsulation right here in Cleveland, Tennessee. It's for Cleveland, Tennessee's own auctioneer extraordinaire, my friend Terry Posey. Before I take you guys throughout this beautiful home, I'm going to show you a couple things that we had to do to stop water from coming in. Let me turn this camera around. Whenever they cut in the crawl space entryway here at his home, which is only five years old, they cut the bottom down way too low. And as if I back up here, you can kind of tell, maybe if I, that was below ground level. So water was simply coming in here, coming in from this way, and it was going in the door. And when I very first opened this door, you could see remnants of dirt where it had been on top of the poly. A um, Couple other things. Terry had already had a moisture barrier on top of a moisture barrier throughout this entire house. He'd ran it up the walls, which it had already fallen down. But uh, he had already spent money on power vents. He already had a dehumidifier system. He already had box fans, multiple ones at that, blowing underneath this crawl space. And moisture levels were still above 70%. When I first turned the units on two days ago, they were at 74%. I'll give you guys a current update once I get back to the monitors in just a moment. Come on, let's go see what this baby looks like. Always got to thank William Austin for all of our electrical work. He does all of our lighting. He's a licensed general contractor, not only in Tennessee, but in Georgia. If any of you need any licensed general contracting work or licensed electrician work, give my father-in-law, Willie Austin, a call. See if I can squeeze my big butt in here. Okay, we'll pull this door back too. Now, I made a post yesterday on our Tennessee Technicians Facebook page, and I told you, we're doing a video tomorrow that you guys are not going to believe and you will not be able to find the quality of work that you see in this video anywhere else and I meant exactly what I said word per word get ready to see not just the best crawl space in Cleveland Tennessee not just the best crawl space in freaking Tennessee in my opinion you're getting ready to see the best crawl space in the world okay we'll start out simply by going back towards this back wall We've got over 3,000 square feet of crawl space to cover here in this video. And I want to make sure you guys get a chance to see all of it. I've been doing crawl space work since 2005 right here locally. We are by far and beyond the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. But this job right here, you couldn't have asked for a better crawl space to work in. We've got the proper height to work in. The ground was level. The walls were straight pretty much throughout. Minus, you know, where they have these little half piers coming off the foundation. Um, this is a 12 mil fiberglass reinforced poly that you see. There is not a single seam in this crawl space that has been left unseen. All poly is not only up on that wall with a special foundation tape, but it is also anchored in every 18 inches all the way around the inside perimeter of this crawl space. Let's move forward a little bit here because, hey, oh, hey, 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 I hope you're sitting down because if you're not, I'm just going to go ahead and warn you, what you're about to see might just sweep you off your feet. Let's go. <clears throat> Okay, get ready guys. Get ready. Let me just cover this camera up for one second. I mean, okay, okay. On three. One, two, three. Ta-da. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, enough of that. Look at this crawl space, guys. Look at it. It's perfect. In every sense of the word, it's perfect. There's not a flaw. I've been around this thing 177 times. Absolute perfection. Got to thank my team, guys. Got to thank my team. Matt Freitag with Freitag Construction. Clint Presley on behalf of Tennessee Technicians. You guys are the best. Only two people that I know that is as OCD as I am. I guess I get it from my dad, Eddie Flowers. 
uh, I always said that my dad was the biggest perfectionist I'd ever met. He's always been into old cars and Harleys and everything, but I guess it came on down to me, Dad, because I'm telling you right now, you're looking at the best crawl space you'll ever set eyes on. Oh, man. Let me just lay down here for a second and let's give y'all a still shot. I mean, that's beautiful. Lots and lots of piers throughout this crawl space. Terry, brother, I appreciate you letting us do this work for you. Terry actually contacted me a couple weeks ago. I was laying in bed with my wife, and uh, he messaged me on our Tennessee Technician's Facebook page and said, Listen, I've spent tons of money on my crawl space over the past five years battling an ongoing moisture problem, and I'm sick of it. I just seen the video that you did for your father-in-law's house, and that's exactly what I want done to mine. And guys, I really appreciate him letting us, man, look at this. By the way, we're right up here, right next to the country club in Cleveland. I have done homes on this road before over the years, and I've told lots of other customers over the years that live in this area, hey, if you got a crawl space, you better do something about it. I've not crawled any up this way that didn't have a moisture problem. And a lot of these homes are older homes. Terry's is one of the newer homes up in this entire area. There is one of his two dehumidifiers. You may wonder, why did I put two? Well, I have a unit that I could have put in here that would have, you know, it was qualified for the square footage. However, given the way this crawl space is laid out, in my personal opinion, why would you want to put one unit and let it strain its guts out to pull this big old house Whenever I could break it up with two of my smaller units, space them out, make this basically two crawl spaces. And, I mean, you know, they're, they're going to last a lot longer. I think we extended the life of the units. And, uh, of course, that's my opinion. Let's go over here and take a look at these units, by the way. <clears throat> wow, look at the monitor, guys. 45% moisture. It was just 74% less than 48 hours ago. Um, I want to show you guys another thing while I'm laying right here. I just seen it. Look at this right here. My friend worked for the air conditioning company that did the work originally on this house. They made them put two of those returns in this crawl space. I've sealed them off up until I sealed them off and got everything going. Those things were condensating and dripping water everywhere. Do not listen to anyone that tells you other than what you're about to hear. If you have two different climates blowing on top of one another, it is going to create condensation, which is furthering and enhancing your moisture problem that most of you already have but aren't even aware of it. Wow, 45% down from 74. Ah, oh, man. Great job, team. Great job, Matt. Great job, Clint. Uh, really, really appreciate you guys. Check out this little extra room Terry has in here. Uh, look at that. Oh yeah, it's perfect too. Don't think for one second that we cut any corners anywhere. That's the whole purpose of me going through these crawl spaces and showing you guys every single bit of it like I do over and over, job after job. I know a lot of you may have just talked to me on the phone and I told you to come to our website and check us out. I know a lot of you have been told to call me from one of your friends. A lot of you just seen me on social media. Listen, when you call me, I don't want to sound like a smart aleck, but I do not like wasting my time. As you can see, in nearly a hundred videos that we've got posted on our website, we are hands down the best. I will stand there right to your face and tell you we're the best. I don't care who you know and who they work for. They ain't beating us. So if you want this done and you're looking to come out as cheap as possible, call one of them other companies. Do not call me. I ain't got time for it. We are covered up. We're booking encapsulations into November right now. So look, if you want the best, 
you want to rest assured you got the owner of a company that's been in business right here locally owned since 2005 you want that owner working underneath your house give me a call 423-503-0512 you want to get some hourly paid guys coming under here trying to get their weekly paycheck call somebody else see how that turns out for you we're showing 46 percent over here i see man unbelievable and just a quick note we did not do the uh the insulation in this crawl space the only thing we did was the moisture work i'm headed back towards the crawl space entry now wow that was a big crawl space Let's see if i can go right here see if i can get you guys a good shot here we go. I'll try to do like a 360 pan. Sorry, I'm shaking. You can see right there that P-trap. That's a lot of people ask, do I still got to come underneath there and uh, empty the unit tanner? Of course not. We're the best. Why would you think, uh, why would you even assume that I would do something like that to our customers? All of our units are connected up to code right into a P-trap. They dispense right into the drain line. The only thing you ever have to do once we are finished is come in and replace the uh, filter and the dehumidifiers every six months, which I can do that for you. A lot of my customers decide to do it for themselves. It's totally up to you guys. And I uh, just want you to know, guys, the only thing that you're looking at, I mean, out of everything that could go bad are the dehumidifiers themselves, which cover a three year, come with a three-year warranty from the factory. All this poly and stuff, this stuff's going to be here longer than my lifetime. I've been in houses at 60, 70 years old. It's still got the old thin three mil poly that's, a lot of it's gotten brittle. But guys, this is fiberglass reinforced, reinforced, excuse me. This stuff dulls my scissors. <clears throat> Good luck getting it out. God, I'd hate for, I'd hate for somebody to ask me to take this out. Be near impossible. <clears throat> Now, as you can see, we're getting back to the doorway. Matt's got to come back in a little while and finish putting the uh, the trim back inside the door there. And let me turn this camera back around here and talk to you for just... And guys, I appreciate every single one of you watching these videos as well. You guys are really helping my family out. Um, I've been doing this work forever. I've been giving this effort, just like you see, forever. So is Clint. So is Matt. And uh, I've taken pictures and shown videos forever. But, I, you know... I've always done that, but I, I never really posted them as much as I have lately on Facebook. And um, guys, if you're in crawl, if you're under houses as much as me, you are fully aware of what kind of work gets done. This is this is most people's uh, dumpster when they're working on it. Most most of your contractors is where they leave all their garbage because they know you aren't ever going to come back in here and look at it. Um, not us, not us. Uh, you'll never see that from us. I'd love for you to come look at it. I invite people, I'll be working on a job. Hey, come by and look at this house we're working on, man. So anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. Appreciate you supporting us. And once again, as you can see and as you always do, we the best, baby. Woo! www.crawlspaceartist.com For all your wildlife needs, visit us online at clevelandtnwildliferemoval.com And if you got high-speed internet and you're tired of paying a monthly TV bill, come see me online at littlesilverbox.com And let Tennessee technicians take care of you. Call 503-0512. I'm out!